bag. Oh, let's stop this in the mirror. Let's hold it like this. There we go. I'm using a mirror to look in the video at the back of the camera, but I can't usually do. I just need to carry a. My hair is crazy. Anyway, so this is the logo. This feels. How did I have it before? I was like, randomly aiming at myself. I was like, yes, yes, yes. If this worked, it didn't work. My last vlog wasn't too. didn't work too well last time <laughs> with the angles. It was well enough, I felt. So I put it up. Well, I haven't actually put it up yet. But anyway, can't click with my left hand, can only click with my right hand, and I'm not ruining this angle. So, what's up? This is the man behind. What's up? This is the man, but the man bun. What's up? This is the man behind Mad Meal Ideas. I'm not wearing the right shirt for that today, so I apologize. But, I'm doing another vlog, because I've only got 20 subscribers on this channel. And I don't feel like I'm not going to piss that many people off doing a daily vlog. So anyway, I'll, I'll take the, I'm taking the camera out today. I haven't shown you guys the house yet properly. You've seen it all in the background, most of it. But yeah, I'm heading outside today. I've left my fan, the humidifying fan thing on in the bathroom. Don't know if you could hear that. Turn off. Turn. No. Um, I'm lame, so I shouldn't be swearing there. That's gonna make more work for me in the edit later on, unless I just leave it in there and then the video will become demonetized. Which, let's face it, I'm not making much of YouTube right now. Anyway, I'm only making camera money. Shout out to my last vlog. Um, I had things to say. Dehumidifiers actually work in bathrooms, little fan things. I always thought they were a bit bullshit and just made you spend more power money, but. No, nah, it actually works. I noticed I didn't turn it on one time when I moved into the new house and my mirror fogged the F up. I don't know why I'm bleeding myself now, but my mirror just vlo vlogged. Yeah, my mirror vlogged. My mirror fogged the F up and, well, yeah, it never does that when I have the fan on. So it works to an extent, which is probably good for the ceiling, I imagine, not having all that moisture just congeal on the ceiling like that. I don't know why I made that. Sound for congealing water, so that's not congealing water, or an attractive sound to be making. What am I doing with that camera angle? <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror, I was just, I saw my camera was pointing at the ceiling for a bit there. Maybe it wasn't, I don't know. But, yes, I'm taking the camera out with me today because I'm doing a little bit of um, adventuring. I have to go to not my old house, but my old town to sort out some manning situation. My handwriting is, I'm just going to put on my shoes while I'm talking about this. My handwriting is abominable, as the people at the post office told me, and they couldn't read my handwriting for me. I wanted my um, house to come to a, a certain number. I give away my house when <laughs> I'm on the vlog. But I wanted my house to come, my house to come? I wanted my mail to come to a certain house number, and they read it as a different house number. Luckily, the guy was um, nice enough to be putting it in my mailbox, and he came to my house the other day saying that oh, my arm was so weak. And he said, like, I hadn't actually read the thing, I thought it was just coming to my house. He said, No, it's been coming to my house, I've been putting it in another box, so I just wanted to let you know in case you wanted to get it changed. I think that was his hint for sort your fucking shit out. However, you not notice so, you know, the mail's been coming to the wrong house, but addressed to you. So, I've got to go there and sort that out. I'm probably going to have to pay more money for a new mail redirectory now, which sucks. Because that's just more money I have to spend. But if I hold it at this, it's alright, you can see my face. It's definitely confirmed in the mirror. Um, my arm is really, really weak. <laughs> well, for holding it up like this, I can freaking hold 5 kg things for work in infinite. But I can't carry it on camera in the air. <sighs> anyway, my kettle boiled, I think. So I'm gonna make a. God, that was probably close, too close for your liking. Making a coffee. I'll use my other arm now, which probably messed up the camera angles immensely, but I'm sorry if it did. Um, 
I have to bear in mind, the top of my head was cut off, so I think I have to aim this a little bit higher if I want to. Well, it looks right there, but... It's one thing I did actually notice <laughs> when I was um, started recording my Mad Meal ideas. Um, well, back in the day, they were called the Guys Gotta Eat. I guess they're still called the Guys Gotta Eat Mad Meal ideas. Just brought it to you under a different thing. Different management, you know? <sighs> but... Yeah, I did notice that when I started recording, that my camera was looked like it was aim above me, so I'd have to, always have to reconfirm, make sure my angles are right. Even though it's on a steady tripod that can't move, when I walked back, it was like pointing in the air. I was like, what the hell? But that was pointing at me for some reason. I guess that's just how camera lenses work. But for me, looking at a camera lens without a person behind it to confirm for me that yes, no, you aren't fucking up, it is proper, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit weird sometimes. <laughs> Sure, if I start getting back into it, then it'll, um, yeah, the first two episodes will be like that again. Filling up my cup, I'm just talking to you guys while I'm walking in my house doing my, I say my morning routine. I woke up late, a little late night last night at work. I, I know, whenever I say to people I had a late night last night, they always assume they're like, oh, who's out drinking? No, it's a Wednesday. I was working my night shift. Just <laughs> tip out that little bit of excess coffee in the, my mug previously. I'm not going to wash it because I'm lazy and in my mind the temperature that the water has to be boiled at anyway for me to make and ferment my coffee is a hot enough temperature. Jeez, if it's goes that was high. <laughs> Camera angles. Is a high enough temperature for me to be, um, <clears throat> for me, not for me, is a high enough temperature for the water to boil out any of the bacteria that might have been sitting in the cup anyway. So that's my, my health logic behind being too lazy to wash my own cups. Yeah. I hate it when it does this, the hole's there, and then I just put it on weirdly. Usually I have two hands free and it doesn't take that long. I'm just pouring my coffee while I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna look away from the camera for a bit. But, but yeah, usually I have two hands, not one hand. I just got hot coffee all over my leg, that hurt. Usually I have two hands free, not one hand, so... Pour that. Yeah, so it's a lot easier to do. I, 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 this is not gonna be a quality video for you guys, I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna to be too lazy to edit it as well. Uh, so you're just gonna have to watch me drink my coffee while I talk to you. Actually, it's probably it for about now. So you guys will see me uh, later on when I'm outside. See you in a bit. Oh, gotta stop having my vlog start like that. It makes a definite clear sound. What was that sound? Oh, yeah, it's my car, obviously. My new car. YouTube money that I complain I don't get enough of. <clears throat> Anyway, apparently I wasn't allowed to film inside the place. The post office that I went to to sort out my mailing issue. They just told me I'm not allowed to have it. Uh, which was a shame because there was some good content there. <laughs> Hopefully my engine isn't too loud with the thing being that far. Also my hand was on one of the microphones because this has two microphones. That's, that's going to be awkward. Also shouldn't cover my hand when I'm talking to a camera complaining about the scenery is too loud. So I've, I've increased my voice level because I feel like I need to in the car. But yeah, uh, they started um, really hammering at me. Like um, the, the central post office for New Zealand said that it's not whatever happened isn't their problem. And that is for the post office, the local post office issue to sort out. I, went to the, I called them, they said, no, it's not our problem. We're not gonna do anything. So I called back the National uh, Post Office people. They told me, again, that it's not their problem, but they told me what to tell the local post office uh, when I came in today. This, all the phone calls happened yesterday. And so I had to go in today, told them, they told me that you guys have to do this, this, this. They started really hammering at me, really just saying like this, that, the other thing. It's really bitching and moaning. I mean, if I had this all on camera, it would have been good, but yeah, I don't have to tell you what happened now, but they, they were just really, 
people saying there it's not their problem, it's not their issue to fix the mailing thing. Which I find that statement to be a bit weird coming from both the post office thing for New Zealand as well as the local post office. Their job is mail. Their job is mail. And they're telling me that it's not their problem to sort out the mail situation. Even though, like, and I, it's not like I'm expecting them to do everything. I've gone and I said I'll, I'll pay for whatever needs to be paid for. I've rewritten out the forms. I just need something to be done. Like I've, I've done more than my share of input, and they're saying, you know, it's not, not their problem. So that sucked. I, but I, I went in today. They started bitching and moaning, but I'd like eventually they sorted it all out. Which is lucky, really. I mean, I guess in the end of the day, like I said, they don't have they don't have to do shit. They're gonna just let the mail keep going to the wrong house. But luckily, they saw it within the graces of their heart to fix the mistake. And uh, I think everyone's thing was it was my handwriting that was bad, so they didn't want to have to fix something because of my bad handwriting. And like I said, I would have been happy to fix it. I'd, Tell me what form to fill out online and I would have done it, resubmitted it. No, I have to fill out the forms manually, you know, like which I, which I did. I did everything they told me I had to do, but even then, after doing everything, they still said, like, no, they're not going to do anything, so... <sighs> that was an ordeal. And like I said, that, that would have been some good content to catch on camera, but unfortunately, I'm not allowed to record inside a post office. So that's lesson learned for the future. This may be some horrible camera work right now because I'm turning a corner while I was about to say drunk because I have drinks in the bag. I'm not drunk at all. No, no. Do not promote drink driving in the slightest. It's very wrong and bad and I don't recommend anyone do it because there's no need to do it. There's always an alternative. Always. I shouldn't say always. There's not always an alternative. There probably is some scenario where it would be mandatory like if your friend was bleeding out and you were drunk and the only person could get in the hospital because the ambulance couldn't get to your house within a recoverable time to pick him up and then drop him back off to the hospital so you driving slightly tipsy would be the option that would save his life i mean it's still illegal and in that sense you would be breaking the law but i don't know i shouldn't be talking about this because it's probably really controversial and would i don't know probably yeah but it's it's, it's I already get a lot of hateful comments, not on this channel, but on my other channel. <clears throat> my Facebook posts and all that, people really do already hate on me enough without me having to bring up these controversial topics. So, hey, uh, yeah, so that's what happened at the post office that I wasn't allowed to record. Hey, I, I think that's about it for my daily activities. Uh, it made me sound really lame. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going, I have to go out, try to say I have to, but I, I don't have to. Um, may, you know, force myself to be, uh, there, there's a work, people gathering later on, that I will be attending. I don't know why I said I have to go, but it's my choice to go. But yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll be attending a work gathering later on, so I probably won't be recording that, because people think I'm weird if I'm talking to a camera rather than talking to people for the whole night. Even though... Uh, yeah, I was about to go a bit too deep there. But yeah, no, I mean, people would think I'm very weird if I did that, so I probably won't be doing that. If I record later, I'll let you guys know. Um, maybe my next video might be my house, um, you know, showing off to you guys. I, I might unbox that toy that I showed you in the first box. So, Anyway, uh, vlogs out. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you tuned in, uh, if you didn't tune in, I, I don't know how why, why I'm talking to people that aren't watching right now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. This is the man behind Mad Meal Ideas uh, signing off. Uh, quick note: I think YouTubers, even though YouTube said they're not doing uh, the ad thingies, the I'm, I'm testing out a new thing. So at the end, after this, I'm warning you guys, I'm warning you guys at the end of every vlog. After this, I'm gonna play an ad 
and then I'll play the outro to my uh, channel if I'm able to if not then this morning's for nothing but I, if, if it works at the end of every vlog I'll tell you guys that I'm placing an ad then it will just be my outro so you know you don't need to tune in uh, after this and I'm you know but if you want to support me <clears throat> I'd love if you could just mute the video and keep it playing and then do whatever else you need to do in another tab you know would uh, probably help you know get me my extra point zero zero one of a sentence in but you know it, it helps so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in after this ad it's just the outro so don't feel up so you're not missing out on anything my camera angle is horrible again now i have to think of a better way to say this but yeah thank you guys for tuning in after this advert it's just the outro so please just mute it open up a new tab and do what else you have to, and do whatever else you have to do you're not missing out on any content so i suck at this so i'm signing off